Hey everyone, um, if, you're, if you're new to this channel, I'm dropping out of my PhD in six months, June 2024. Um, yeah, I've said it many times, I'll probably just skip it today. But if you were watching last, yesterday's recording, I said I would come back to setting up daily recurring tasks and having like a daily planner. And I didn't, I ended up doing it offline, it was just one of those moods where I needed to hunker down and put on a hoodie and just uh, grind it out. So I can walk briefly through that and, and then also show some of the things that I'm doing to try to get this to pick up some momentum or give me some momentum in, in streaming because ultimately this is a March 2 startup and I'm dropping out so I need to be a little bit business minded in everything I do. Um, yeah. So, where are we? Let's see, inbox. See, part of being business-minded. For example, in the inbox, I added a connect me and just gave a little bit of information about myself and tried to get people interested in watching my videos. But that's not what we're trying to look for. Start here. So, I don't know if I covered this yesterday, but essentially, uh, so far within this fall, as I, as far as I remember, we set up project management or individual projects. So each project has folders and each of those folders have sort of a standard template that we fill in whenever we start a new project. And then from there, we need to manage multiple projects. And so for that, I'm following seven areas of wellness. It just helps uh, check whether you're sort of focusing too much on one area if you should probably take on other areas other pro projects and other areas of your life um, yeah and it just makes for me it makes more sense to organize stuff in that manner and then so each so that's great we have we're able to manage different projects however we don't live in we don't live a project at a time. We sort of live where on our day to day, our day can be hectic. We have a particular thing that may have just randomly, that randomly needs our attention. Um, so we live more day to day. And so for that, I added day to day scheduling. And so what this is essentially is, is just first a folder file structure. We have our planner. This is where all our years, all our months, all our weeks and days notes live. So there's our planner, there's folders uh, for each year. So for example, let's look here. I have folders for this year and next year or tomorrow. And, uh, and then for each year I have a month. So I didn't actually run that script yet but each year has all the months and so i could just or i'll wait to show that and then within each month we have the the weeks in the month and so for this i'm just doing a continuous from week one the first week of the year to week 52 the last week of the year and then within each week which is also a folder then we have the different days so this is where our daily notes and our to-dos live. And then we have also a weekly summary or review. So however you wanna think about it, it's just a, a note to reflect at the end of the week about the days for, what, for either journaling purposes or for productivity purposes, project purposes, whatever. And yeah, and so to create this folder file structure, I wanted to make it automatic. I don't want to have to every week uh, add a new week folder, add a new a daily note for every day of that week, and then make a week folder. It's just too much. So yesterday, what I didn't show offline was just me using ChatGPT to make a Java to make two Java scripts, and so those Java scripts are actually held in here. You don't see them because by default they're hidden in, in Obsidian, 
but if you just go to the straight up folder in your yeah i guess i can show it if you go to the straight up folder you can see there's script one script two and then what these scripts do uh, are well first well yeah i guess what these scripts do script one just sets up the folder file structure so it sets up the uh, this it sets up this just folders just folders and then the next one script two sets up this part so you specify a week and it sets up all the uh, daily notes for that week as well as a weekly summary and what's perfect about this is that i can approach this one week at a time and also use templates so what I'm actually doing here is using this template and each template essentially for the day follows three sorts of tasks. Each day we can have daily tasks. These are tasks that 99% of the time they won't change. They're just things that we need reminders. I have, I'm a programmer. I, I'm a student. There's times where I just forget to do some of these things. And so for me, having a reminder to shower in the morning. Once I check that off, it's a little bit of momentum that I have going forward. Um, yeah, so these are things that you just need to do every single day, regardless of anything. To live, you do this. Then there's reoccurring effort tasks. These are tasks for your projects that are reoccurring. So it could be, for example, if you have a goal to learn Spanish, you need to learn consistently you want to study 30 hours 30 hours 30 minutes a day um, and so it's a reoccurring effort for the length of the project so in that project you're going to put in your timeline and action plan um, that you need to do this effort and it'll show up here and this is just a data view where it queries any uh, tasks that start that day and contain the reoccurring symbol and then there's soft tasks. These are tasks that just come up during the day uh, or in your weekly review or setting up your next week. These are tasks that you plan ahead. You just need to do it on that day at any time that you have free time. So it doesn't need to be on your calendar. And as I mentioned, there's also a, a template for the week. This one, I left it empty. Uh, it's something that I do need to come back to, but for now it wasn't too much of a priority. Yeah, and so then these hotkeys hot can essentially set that up and just to show some functionality. So I don't want to disrupt. Yeah, so this is fine. I'll delete this. Ah. So I want to set up first the folder structure. So come or option Y. What year do I want to set it up for? The year that's coming up. And where do I want it to be placed? I want it to be placed in my folder called Planner. So if you see here for the year, we have the year and then each month, 12 months. And then each month has its own weeks. So for example, January has weeks one through five. February also starts in week five, goes to week nine, and then it goes all the way to 52, 52 weeks in a year. And then that's it. It's just folders and files, or not files. It's just folders. Now where the next part comes in, which is option W, now we set up a week. So 2024, we want to set up the first week. Okay, and then we're just going to show, point it to where we want it to, to be set up. And so now we see in week one, all the different files, all, all the daily notes have been set up. And yeah, so this will show reoccurring efforts for that get specific day. Um, and then the weekly. And, and again, these follow the template day, template week. So you can make whatever changes you want and then this will automatically populate whenever you set up a new week 
which was really nice. Um, and if, in case you're curious, I set this up actually using the quick add community plugin set up two macros and then have enabled hotkeys and essentially what these do is their where is it manage macros these point to the scripts and then um, yeah and then whenever you hit the hotkey the script runs so that was everything I did yesterday it took a while I don't know I don't know JavaScript so that's probably what made it the most difficult okay yeah and so that's overall sort of the template or the template the vault uh, I did I think I just made some like minor changes for packaging and presentation uh, so for example start here added some uh, notes on how to get started so making sure anybody that uses it makes can everyone that downloads it can make it appear as i'm showing right now in this video and then again always having some branding and some marketing to try to get people to try to build up momentum for my youtube um yeah I think that's the majority of it. And so then the other thing that actually is going to come in the future, and I'm sort of making it a business move or making a business move out of it is if you noticed, I didn't have like a weekly review refined. And there's also some other things that can be improved. So for example, I'm working on this on a Mac. And so I'm, there's some hotkeys that are using control, some hotkeys that are using command. There might be some conflicts if you go to Windows because you don't have the command uh, key. And so uh, a future maybe improvement would be me going through this, setting it up on my other computer, and just taking, making sure that there's no conflicts. Uh, that might be a future improvement. Another one is having a light theme. I followed a dark theme. I think it's much easier to read because I'm always working at night having a bright screen just doesn't work for me um, yeah and then also in some of the more advanced community plugins I don't have complete notes or I don't have as comprehensive notes as I would like so uh, in the future probably in the next month or two go back through these plugins and really just explore them, make a bunch of examples that I that I myself can reference, but also other people can reference within this vault. Uh, as I mentioned, set up weekly, quarterly, yearly reviews and really refine that. And then the next part that I actually started to think about was a lot of this vault is project management based. So it's all about setting up projects. Those projects can be setting up efforts, let's go with efforts. Those efforts can be really anything from exercising to, I wanna get an A in this class and then breaking down how you're gonna approach that. And, and in that you're taking notes when particularly for intellectual efforts where you, you have a class or you want to learn a new skill, you wanna learn a language, you're taking notes and these notes are things you're gonna to have to refer to in the future to always make sure it doesn't slip your mind. Trust me, I, I, how do I say this? In my undergrad, for four years, I took, must have been over 20, 30 engineer, probably 20, engin, in electrical engineering classes. The majority of those classes, I don't even remember. And so for me to try to go back through the syllabus and take my own notes again, that's too much. And I didn't have something like Obsidian. And so the next part, once you sort of set up and, or once you're finishing a project, let's say you get to the end of the quarter, you're done with the class and you want to remember that. So you want to store this in your library. How do we go from, we have notes that were centered around making sure we uh, succeed in this class and making sure we learn what we need to learn. 
but then how do we go to storing these notes within a library and not just in the class format? And that's something I need to explore myself because I, I took a machine learning class last quarter, um, like 15 days ago was the final. And so now I need to go back, refine some of my notes, and then find a way to store it in my library. And so I really need to dive into what's the best way to take notes? How do I link notes? How do I present my notes so that I can go back, go back and get the most knowledge out of it or get the quickest insights out of it? And how can I continue to reference it quickly and make sure I, nothing slips my mind? So all of these are different aspects that could use enhancement. And it probably is going to take like another 20 hours to do this. And so what I'm sort of my approach to the to this is actually since I already provided a lot of a lot of value in setting up this fall and having it be for free and packaging it so people can learn to use Obsidian, but also learn about project management. How about I just charge five dollars for the future enhancements? Um, they're not very critical things that people need. People can set it up, set it up themselves. They can figure it out. Um, but if I sort of just tidy it up and have it in a nice package ready to use, I think five dollars is a good price. And there's like con considerable, uh, comparable classes out there that charge two hundred dollars. And I'm more about at the moment building a momentum for my YouTube, so I'm fine charging $5. I mean, I could charge 200, but who's gonna, who's gonna know it exists? So that's sort of my reasoning. Um, yeah, and then as I mentioned, just always trying to engage people and point them to my social media and my YouTube and to try to get the ball rolling. Because uh, if, if I haven't said it explicitly, part of my strategy, which I'll probably say in the future is, if I'm gonna build apps and web services, I need customers, I need, um, I need feedback. And so building in public allows me to build in front of an audience who might directly benefit from it or who can also guide me in the right direction. Or maybe they wanna build, uh, build with me on a particular project. So, that's all things that I need an audience for. And in that process, I'm trying to make sure not to go from uh, getting attention in smart and quick ways to I'm a, just an attention, W-H-O-R-E. Um, because if I'm just trying to get attention from anyone who knows sort of the quality of people that will come to, that will sort of build a community around me. And I wanna make sure that it's it's people that are on their game and wanna to work towards a better, better future for themselves. <clears throat> yeah, so that's, that's the vault. Once I finished that, I, I went into sort of, how can I package this? How can I get this out? So the first thing I did was, okay, GitHub. I set up a GitHub page, found a way to, to just make it look okay. And actually, let me see if I can find it. Movie. <clears throat> yeah. So I, I just looked through GitHub, try to see which, which projects had like a lot of stars, a lot of views. This was one of the ones that just first showed up. I didn't want to do too much of a deep search, but it looked it looked pretty um, navigable. Like you could you could go through it and understand what's what. So there's the the intro sort of catch your attention, uh, telling you what it's about, what it can do, more about it. Uh, more details about it, how to install it, and then the acknowledgements and that sort of thing. So mine, 
bright yellow. Since most people are going to be on a black background, yellow catches attention. Just a picture. Uh, don't have a better icon at the moment. And then the approach that I took to this was really, it can be for anyone who is into productivity. And because I'm going to be sharing it on Reddit, on Discord, and other places, maybe people don't know what Obsidian is. So first, briefly explaining what Obsidian is, then describing sort of my vault, what it is, and then really going into the features, what people can expect from it, and, and showing pictures. Uh, and in that process, I realized maybe the theme isn't as perfect as I'd like it to be. It's kind of eh, but at the same time, I mean, I'm not going for a flashy vault. If the right people will understand the value of this vault. Um, and those are the people that are, how do you say, I'm being specific in who I'm targeting and it's more minimal and productive. I'm not looking to try to set up a Notion dashboard or make it sort of flashy and all that sort of stuff. It's just, I need to get the job done and I want to do it quickly. So, um, yeah, describing sort of for those people that are new, how to set up a vault, customize it, how to, uh, or describing that it's adjustable, but it's also very minimal. And then going into really the heavy part, which is getting things done. So here's sort of some text and images about the, the workflow and the project structure that I have set up, the dashboard, day-to-day -day scheduling, maybe people read it and they're like, hmm, this particular sentence resonates with things I've seen. I, I understand that in my day, I can have these different sorts of tasks, or this is an interesting way of sorting projects. Let me download it and, and go through it a little bit more in detail. So that's really what I'm going for. There are uh, improvements I can make in the packaging and the demonstration but this was all set up at like 2 in the morning so I'm I was just really going to try to my aim was just to have something out yeah and then installation notes author notes again always trying to get people engaged in in what I'm doing um, and what I'll probably do in the future is have like a note of if you want to, um, if you want a more ready to use vault, I'll have like one set up in January, February. You can, excuse me, you can purchase it for $5. So that'll be like a future thing. Oh, and then also having the, an about section. So, so far what I've done, I've posted it on a discord so i've actually been viewing someone who's doing a similar uh building in public and he started earlier than me he's he's had a lot of good momentum and so on uh he has a discord and on his discord just shared it there um hasn't gotten a lot of reaction yet uh but it who knows maybe a few people like it and they go towards my channel and then the other thing I did was also made a Reddit post about it. So, okay, actually, let me open it specifically and then share it. I don't want to show too much. Yeah, so on Reddit, on the Obsidian page, posted pictures about it and this is where when I started to realize maybe my packaging and demonstration of it isn't optimal but hey it it just is to get it going at the moment and so here we can see um, and then made a slight video about it or video a comment on it again trying to get people to my YouTube and 
showing them the bot link. I'm always struggling to find the balance of I need some attention like I'm not doing this for free and just not gonna not expect to benefit at all from it um but then I also don't want to be like one of those hustlers that's just spamming in it to the point where it gets annoying and being an introvert that balance is a little bit harder to approach but I'm sort of getting used to it so yeah shared it here thousand new views good reception for them from the people that do like it so i am finding i guess you could say a slight niche with <laughs> with only six people out of a thousand views um yeah 10 shares so that's that's good for now and then going back I guess grounding all of this, I'm, I'm very transparent in this journey. I'll probably continue to be transparent until, I don't know, I get to millions, millions a month, millions a year. At that point, it can probably be more harmful to, to show how much I'm making and um, have bad things happen, I guess. I don't know. I, but I'll I'll prob back to topic. I'll probably continue to share until I feel like maybe it's best not to share. But I'll always have some transparency in, um, in what I'm doing and how I'm approaching things and what sort of results it's getting. I'm not just. What I don't want to be is a guru that's saying, "Look at me, I'm rich. Buy my courses." you'll get rich and that's how you get rich that's how the guru gets rich no i'm that's the, the thing i want to avoid but anyways um yeah showing my dashboard so i posted that video today in the morning i was going to post it yesterday at night but i thought maybe for the sake of scheduling more people would watch it if I scheduled it for 8 in the morning today. So I posted that today in the morning. That was yesterday. So far it's gotten 29 views, which is actually more than the previous videos. How do I... Where do I go for that? Oh, so actually day seven might have been viewed maybe as much. But yeah, it seems like I'm starting to get some momentum. The things I do need to address though are the click through rate. It's only 4%, not even 4%. It's 0.04%. And I, from what I've seen on Reddit, it seems like people can get um, or the average is like 5% or 5 to 10%. So something I need to explore. Ooh, 10 subscribers. Nice. <laughs> but anyways, from what I've seen on Reddit, uh, typical is 5 to 10%. So I need a way to make my videos more engaging. And or the thumbnail more engaging. I don't know about changing the title. And this is actually something I anticipated. Right now, I'm just building a project in knowledge management system that's very niche, like very out of the people that are productive, even fewer are curious or in sort of a project knowledge management mood. Um, yeah, so I just expected it to be like that, and that's why I wanted to try to rush it along so I can get to actually building. And I think that's what people are more interested in, showing app development, how quickly I can make it, what are the tools I'm using, um, so they can follow along. So yeah, now that I've finished that, hopefully this goes up, and hopefully, or not hopefully, but I'll need to explore how to improve my thumbnails 
and maybe make some adjustments to the title. I want to keep like day X, but then what else can I change to make it more engaging? Um, yeah, so that's sort of like a very transparent view of how things are going at this stage. It's been maybe like half a month, maybe almost a month of me having my YouTube. Uh, been posting every day consistently about one to two hours minimum. Some days I've managed to do more. And yeah, 380 views, 20 hours of watch time, 10 subscribers. And yeah, so that's overall sort of where my YouTube the state, that's an overall state of how things are at this moment. And so now going to, uh, yeah, and this is where I drafted my Discord, Reddit messages. But right now, I have an inbox full of a bunch of just notes that I've taken. Let me, I'll just close it. Close this. Oh, gotcha. Hmm, do I want to post to those? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. I'll post later. As you can see, I'm kind of procrastinating the marketing stuff. I really don't like the marketing, but it's things you got to do. So right now, organize my inbox. After I organize my inbox, I want to record a video going over the template. I'm probably going to make this um, like a short video, maybe 10, 20 minutes. Post it on my YouTube. And it might be edited, scripted and edited, and really trying to refine the thumbnail. So we'll probably work on that. I'll probably work on this in public today or tomorrow. So I'll record myself building it, was what I meant to say. And then I need to sort of ground myself. These past two weeks, I've really just been working on YouTube and not really paying attention to anything else. It's my break. I didn't want to think about school, uh, finances. <laughs> I didn't want to think about finances, haven't been spending, so didn't need to think about it. But now I got some money coming in for TAing next quarter and um, I need to pay off some debts that I have. And then brainstorm about what else I've been neglecting and then after that it's about making a video okay no actually let me rephrase it record Refine script and edit. <clears throat> So first I'm gonna in public or here record myself really thinking about how to make important decisions. And so mine is, am I for sure 100% no looking back, gonna follow through with dropping out. So I'm gonna sort of draw it out and really think about everything that crosses my mind in making that decision of whether I wanna drop out and then once I do that, 
sort of refine and package all the systems and ways of thinking about that decision and then make a video about it. So script, edit, video, make thumbnail and everything. Or make video about, yeah, talking out. Let's just script and edit video, make thumbnail, make title. So actually, let's see. I think I'll cut off this video and then continue another video right after this. I want this video to be mostly about a closing chapter to Obsidian. I might have some future videos in January or February when I'm refining the system. Um, but for now, this is closing the chapter on Obsidian. I'm still gonna use Obsidian uh, when I'm making videos to manage my projects and and walk through whatever I need to walk through, but I'm essentially closing the chapter on building, a, building around Obsidian in public. See you in the next video.